All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the Savvy Sniper Slings. All right, so first we're gonna talk about rifle configurations and how it relates to a sling and uh, different options you have for mounting it because I know when you're a brand new consumer looking at slings, it can be kind of confusing about what you would want to do. Talk about mounting options as far as choosing hardware for getting a sling to mount to your rifle. So some handguards will have integral mounting options built into them. Other times you can take such as this uh, Magpul RSA mount and you can attach it through Picatinny. Some companies make them for key mod. That way you can have an attachment at any point on your rail. They've got end plates that you can swap out. This one happens to be a Magpul ASAP mount or different stocks will have different mounting options depending on which one you go with. So on this BCM rifle, I knew a little bit more about my rifles when I was setting this one up. So I chose options that I prefer more now. So mounting options for this, B5 system stock has QD mounts on both sides here. I have a QD end plate also from B5 systems. And then the key mod rail here is Midwest Industries and it has mounting options for QD swivels here and here, as well as the other side and the bottom. All right, one of the really cool features about this sling is the ease in which you can transfer from single point to two point. If I am gonna be carrying the rifle long term or I prefer to run at two point, you can quickly disattach and quickly attach to your mounting option up front. So this one has QD swivels on both ends and this one has HK snap hooks on both ends. All right, so you have a good range of motion with this sling because of how easy it is to move this slider in order to be able to loosen the sling so where you can operate what you need to tighten it up if you want to snug it against yourself and then if say for instance you have to use your rifle and you weren't expecting to you had it slung nice and tight chances are depending on the way you mount it but you should be able to actually extend out regardless because of the amount of bungee all right so here's the shock cord up close i'm basically grabbing the ends of where it's stitched together and here's the range of stretchability all right savvy sniper slings are made in america if you went with that base model that has the nexus plastic buckle it is about 85 dollars and if you were to go with this one, which is about the most tricked out option you can get, this one costs $125 and it has all metal hardware and obviously the Cobra buckle costs money too. All right, so if you're asking if this is an investment that you should make in a, in a sling, it's really gonna come down to your budget, but ultimately these slings are super high quality um, the slider is incredibly easy to use. The option to go from two point to single point is super awesome because if you don't know which kind you like or what's gonna work better for your application, you don't have to have two slings. Cobra buckles are awesome. It's made in America and it has bungee for a little bit of stretchability. most practical application for having two QD swivels when you need to carry two ARs. Woohoo! <laughs> 